Hey there, I'm Mr. Mendoza with a second grade teacher at Web Voice Trotter Academy with Agape Schools. Hopefully you've enjoyed this series. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to see what other videos I have there for you. I hope that you're enjoying this series on objects in motion. The first three videos, first one was on position, next was on motion, third was pushes and pulls. Now we're going to talk about how you can change motion of an object. Why do you think this girl can slide? Why? Did she just lay on it? Or did she run and jump onto that wet slide? Mm. How can you slow something down? Make a ramp out of books and cardboard. Measure the car at the top of the ramp and let go. Put the car at the top of the ramp and let go. Do not push it. Measure how far the car went. Tape and sandpaper. Tape sandpaper to the cardboard. Repeat the activity. Which ramp slow the car down more? If you were to put sandpaper on the ramp, would it go faster or slower? Then by the ramp it on its own. This one is all about friction. Another type of force that prevents things from going faster and that slows objects down. Friction. What slows things down? Friction does. Hey! Friction is a force that slows down moving things. Friction happens when two things rub together. There is more friction on rough surfaces than on smooth ones. It is harder to push. It is harder to push or pull something on a rough surface than on a smooth surface. The thick threads on tires help cars drive over slippery roads. The threads add friction between the car and the road. The slow down when you skate, you drag a rubber stopper on the ground. The dragging causes friction. Sometimes friction is helpful. Running shoes have threads that add friction. The shoes keep runners from slipping and falling. Other times we try to have less friction to make things easier to move. The bottoms of ballet slippers are smooth so dancers can slide across the floor easily. It causes less friction, of course. And ballerinas, ballerina dancers need less friction to dance. How can friction help us? The bottom, the bottoms of surfboards are smooth so that surfers can glide on the water. And that causes less friction. How can forces change motion? You know that forces can change the motion of things. Forces can make things speed up, slow down, stop, and start moving. They can make things change direction too. In a game of softball, the players use force to change the direction of a ball's motion. Think of a sport that uses a ball. How does a ball change direction? In baseball, how does a ball change direction? A girl hits it with a bat and it goes in a different direction. The pitcher uses force to throw the ball toward the batter and the batter uses a push to hit the ball. It changes direction and flies toward the outfield. The pitcher pitches, the batter hits and it goes bye-bye. The player in the field catches the ball and stops its motion. He can use a force to throw the ball to another player. What kind of force do players use? Think about that one. What kind of force do players use? There's a force. There's a force. The force is there also. May the force be with them. What causes friction? What causes things to slow down? Why is it hard to push something on a rough surface? Why? Because of? Right about the time you played with the ball, how did the ball change direction? Think about that. Learn about a sport played in another country. 
describe the pushes and pulls in this sport. Slip and slide. Ooh, penguins. Have you ever walked on ice? It is smooth and slippery. Sometimes penguins slide on their bellies to move. Why do you think they slide on their bellies to move? Because it's more difficult? Or because they can get from one place to another faster? Hmm. Here's something you can write about. Explain why penguins can slide on the ice. Make sure to explain why ice is slippery. When you write to give information, you give facts. How far did it move? These students are playing softball. They want to know how far the ball moved. Add measurements. If the ball moved 45 feet to the batter, and the ball, after that, the ball went 100 feet towards the right field. Then the right field person threw it to first base and it went 30 feet. How many feet did the ball travel in all? Add the distances that the ball moved. How far did it go? How many times did the ball change directions? Now, make up your own math problem about softball game. Add the first, then add the tenths, then add the ones. Always remember to add the ones first, then add the tens. Lastly, you add the hundreds. If you have thousands, obviously, you're going to add the thousands also. Roller coaster ride. We get on and sit side by side. The bar snaps us into our seats. Once we're in place, we begin the ride. We start with a jerk and a move away. Slowly we begin to climb. We have been waiting for this all day. We move up and up to the top of the hill. It will not be long until our biggest thrill. We go over the top and here we go. Down and around we fly faster and faster then up and around and down again. We yell and scream into the wind. As we go up the hill, we lose some speed. Soon we zoom down and get the speed we need to make it to the top of the next hill. Above the trees, we are up so high next to the birds in the sky. We're upside down. Ah! We loop around, we look all the way down to the ground. I scream and shut my eyes. Around another turn we go. I want to get off! When will this coaster stop? Then screech! We come to the end. Now that we are safely back on the ground, I cannot wait to go again. Here's something to think about for the last four videos. Think about this, fill in the blanks, write the sentences and fill, fill in the right words. Go back to the video. Use each word once for items one through seven. When you tell where something is, you describe it's, when you tell where it is, you describe it's what position. When you tell how fast something moves in a certain amount of time, you tell it's speed. A force that slows down moving things is friction. This picture shows a force called a, oh, he's doing something to the doorbell. He's doing something to the doorbell. He is pushing the doorbell. It's all about communicating with others. Describe the position of the cat. Describe the position of the cat in as many ways as you can. One, you can say the cat is where? You can use the word on to describe where the cat is on. You can describe beside to describe where the cat is beside. Those are just two ways to describe that. When would you want more friction? When would you want less? Think about that. Is friction good sometimes? 
sometimes it isn't, so you want to have less of it. Where are those places you want more and less friction? Cause and effect. What force do basketball players use when they make a basket? What force are they using? Are they using their heads, their feet, their hands, shoulders, their chest? What are they using? Last thing to think about. How do things move? You use pushes and pulls every day. Use the pictures to answer the questions below. You can actually describe everything about these pictures and words also. Write a sentence about each picture. What force is used? How do the pictures change if the people use more or less force? Look at the pictures. Which activity do you need the most force to do? How do you know? It's a lot. The third one is the funnest one. Think about that one. What happens when you pull something? What happens if you pull something? Choose your answer. Rosa walked to school on Monday. It took her 10 minutes. On Tuesday, she walked the same way, but it took her 15 minutes. What changed? Think about it. Look at the picture below. You read the question and the answers. You choose it. Thank you for watching this video and others also. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.